Welcome back to another episode. I'm Scott. I'm Big T, and you're watching The Nerd Treasure Chest. Booyah. Boom. And we're going to dive right in. Let's see what today's is. Ooh, we should all know this guy here. TIE Fighter Pop, baby. This is on a 65 card back, Return of the Jedi card. These boys have been around since A New Hope. A New Hope. I don't know if they made them on the original. But I would say no. I think as a kid, we all put Stormtroopers in our TIE Fighters. If you were lucky enough to have one or more TIE Fighters, we just put Stormtroopers in there. The Imperial the TIE, TIE Fighter, Fighter pilot, pilot doesn't appear. Tool. Tool. What number? He's number 26. Yeah, which is way down there. So I think he first appears on the Empire Strikes Back card, and then he appears also on the Return of the Jedi card as well. I don't know if he appears on the Star Wars back card. I will double check and research it, and I will make a change here and comment in the video if there's something here. The Imperial TIE Fighter pilot first appears on the Empire Strikes Back 47A card back. Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, mind you, I was five. But I don't uh, remember this guy in one of the original runs because it was, you know, that was a small collection. You had your Luke, your Leia, your Han. I think in the, the villains, right. all we had was the Death Star droid, mm -hmm. Stormtroopers, and Darth right. Vader. I don't think there was anything else villain-wise on those original Star Wars cards and stuff. You know, it was all Luke and Han and Obi-Wan and Leia and R2 and C-3O and Chewie. But these uh, additional figures, I think there was a Luke and X-Wing pilot for the, for the X-Wing. But I think that was it. This guy appears on this card. We have him on the Return of the Jedi card back. It's the 65. What's there? That's a C-3PO. I think that's the A card back. I'm going to have to get these straight. I'll get them all lined up eventually. And guess what? He appears in the scene, Star Wars A New Hope. And this is when Darth Vader scrambles to his TIE fighter to go and fend off the rebels from advancing and attacking the Death Star. You can see it here. Several fighters have broken off from the main group. Come with me. Hey, if you like our channel and you want to help us out and support us, please give us a like, subscribe, or a comment. Especially the shares, if you're willing to share our video on one of your social medias. That really helps. Yeah, it helps YouTube see in the algorithm that people actually like our stuff and watch it, and it helps push us out to a newer audience and helps us grow. Thank you for your support. And actually, maybe he was actually after Luke too. Did he hint at it? No, I don't he think didn't. he had any. He, didn't he had no idea. No, no idea Luke at that point. Until, uh, Later. He knew the Force was strong with this one when they're yeah. in the trench. Correct, correct. But Use the Force, Luke. Is strong in this one. Knowing that his son and his old droid were up in that ship in front of him. Right. This actually fetches anywhere from $200 on the Return of the Jedi card, and some of the other ones go for the Empire Strikes Back card goes for about $300 plus. The highest I saw was $375, but then again, you have to realize it's actually the supply and demand because some cards want to go for more, and some cards go for more just because they've been graded versus not being graded. <laughs> I like the fact too, this is a Return of the Jedi card, but if you look closely, the scene is them chasing the Millennium Falcon in the asteroid field. So it's an Empire Strikes Back scene on the card, but a Return of the Jedi card back. And I'll show you the scene right here. Unfortunately, I took a close look at the Empire Strikes Back reel and this scene that is shown on the Imperial TIE Fighter Return of the Jedi card is not in the movie. Take a closer look. I'm going to slow it down frame per frame and pause so you can see it yourself. Also, the lasers are green, not red. Hey, what do you guys think? Let us know below in the comments. So this is just your standard Imperial TIE Fighter pilot. Standard Imperial Trooper. Just a pilot. Yeah. Some of them really good. Some of them really bad. Mm -hmm. And if you go right here and click, this is the at at driver. If I have a similar actual comparison in the video that shows you the comparison between the TIE fighter pilot and the at at driver, they are very close in nature. Very, I think very close. I think that the at at driver has a couple more hoses, or it's the Imperial TIE fighter that has a couple more hoses, but they are a very similar mold. You can tell that they took kind of the similar mold and pushed it along to the other one. And he has a gray blaster called the SC14R light repeating blaster. I guess it's just they crash landed on a planet or something like that. They need yeah. to have some kind of self-defense. And obviously their home world is various because these are 
pilots. They've been recruited and stolen from many different worlds and into slavery and recruited to fight for the empire. Yep. No choice. Or die. One of the two. But some of them were devout believers in the empire, you know. Yeah, so. correct. He's going to go back where he belongs. Later, TIE Fighter Pilot. I'm Big T. I'm Scott. We are the Nerd Treasure Chest. Like and subscribe, please. We gotta watch our fingers when we do that because I could have smacked them. Like and subscribe. Which path will you choose? The choice is yours.